Exascale computing refers to a type of supercomputing system capable of performing at least one exaflop or one quintillion floating point operations per second. This is a significant leap from petascale computing, which operates at one petaflop or 10 to the power of 15 operations per second. As a kind of supercomputer, exascale systems represent the next frontier in computational power, promising to tackle some of the most complex and demanding problems in various fields. Let's explore the real-life applications of exascale computing. Firstly, in scientific research, exascale computers can simulate complex scientific phenomena with unprecedented detail, such as climate modeling, astrophysics, and quantum mechanics. This approach can lead to better understanding and potential breakthroughs in these fields. Secondly, in healthcare and medicine, they can analyze vast data sets to identify patterns in genetic information, accelerating drug discovery and personalized medicine. For example, they can help simulate the interactions of drugs at the molecular level leading to more effective treatments. Thirdly, in artificial intelligence and machine learning, exascale computing can train AI models much faster and with more data, leading to more accurate and efficient AI systems. This can impact various sectors, including autonomous vehicles, natural language processing, and predictive analytics. Fourthly, in energy, these systems can optimize energy grids, simulate nuclear fusion reactions, and improve oil and gas exploration methods. This could lead to more efficient energy production and usage. Lastly, in national security, exascale computing aids in cryptography, surveillance, and complex simulations that are crucial for national defense strategies. Now, let's look at some recent developments in exascale computing. The Frontier Supercomputer, as of mid-2022, at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the U.S., achieved the title of the world's first exascale computer, with a peak performance of 1.1 exaflops. Other exascale systems, such as Aurora at Argonne National Laboratory and El Capitan at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, are in development expected to enhance the U.S.'s computational capabilities further. Europe is also investing in exascale computing with projects like the European Processor Initiative or EPI aiming to develop energy efficient processors for exascale systems. India's national supercomputing mission aims to develop a vast network of supercomputers in India. Efforts include the development of indigenous technology and infrastructure to support future exascale systems. India plans to achieve exascale computing capabilities within this decade, enhancing fields such as weather forecasting, climate research, drug discovery, and artificial intelligence. Looking ahead, future exascale systems will place a strong emphasis on improving energy efficiency. As current systems consume significant power, innovations in cooling technologies and energy efficient processors are absolutely critical. Furthermore, as quantum computing advances, we might see the emergence of hybrid systems that combine classical exascale computing with quantum computing, offering even more powerful computational capabilities. Additionally, the integration of AI and machine learning with exascale computing is expected to deepen, enabling the development of more sophisticated AI models and significantly faster development cycles. Exascale capabilities may also become more accessible through cloud platforms, democratizing access to these powerful computational resources for businesses and researchers globally. 
Moreover, exascale computing will facilitate more interdisciplinary research as complex problems often require expertise from multiple fields. This can lead to innovative solutions to global challenges like climate change and pandemics. Recent developments and future trends suggest a continued focus on enhancing performance, efficiency, and accessibility. Thank you for watching this video. I will be back soon with another interesting video.